All right, people, I've got a special treat for you this morning. I'm playing around with this Berkeley Wind four valve trumpet. It's got an extra slide here in the back, which is not on most trumpets, activated by a rotary valve. So when you pull this thumb trigger right here, it opens that, uh, va that um, rotary valve to include this long slide, which puts the instrument in the key of F. However, it does another clever thing. It auto also automatically brings the notes with the first valve better in tune for the length of the slide that you should have on an F trumpet. So it's just a cleverly designed uh, instrument. And I'm playing an exercise by the great, the late great trumpeter Timothy Dockshitzer, one of the greatest trumpet players of all time, in my opinion. And uh, he left a method book that very few people uh, actually work out of, but I was lucky I found one in a donation box at uh, Northridge um, in California. I've been playing out of it sort of sporadically ever since. That was probably 20 years ago. Well, anyway, here's a cool drill uh, that uh, Timothy Dockshitzer has, and I'm going to show you how the fourth valve comes into play. Let's try this again. Now, it was that last little phrase here where the four-valve trumpet came in useful. Uh, Doc Schitzer didn't believe in extending the instrument. He could play it all with a three-valve trumpet, so he would play that as a pedal tone as such. And there's certainly a value in doing that. It, it helps build up your ear and your wind power and your chops to, to play the pedal tone. But if you have a four-valve instrument... Why not apply the same exercise to learning how to use the four-valve instrument? Then the last phrase, in my opinion, uh, sounds even better. And there you have it. Uh, that's a brief demonstration of the Berkeley Wind four-valve trumpet applied to one of Timothy Dockshitzer's exercises from his method book. And I believe it's on page 48 if you have the Russian edition of the book. I'll post um, uh, a shot of the page underneath this video for those of you who want to try the exercise. All right, well, have a great day. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll try to keep the instructional videos coming. Bye for now.